Where did I put that extra slider at? Oh no, Joanna's gonna kill me when she finds out. Ah, there it is. Cool, she'll never find out. Oh hey there, how long have you been there? Uh, well, what missing slider? I didn't mention anything about a missing slider. Well, good morning, Fit Fanatics. Welcome. It is Friday. It's about 7 in the morning. Um, for those who do not know me, um, my name is Edwin Camacho. I have been at the Fit Factor for about uh, two months, so I'm still semi-new, still getting accustomed to things here at the Fit Factor studio. So I wanted to talk a few things about exercise. What is What are the benefits of exercise? What are the significant adaptations that you're going to see from exercising? But before we get to that, I want to share who I am, some personal experiences that I've been through that way. You all know me a little bit more. Um, so I did graduate from Cal State Northridge where I got my degree in kinesiology with an emphasis in exercise science. I did a lot of internships while I was finishing my undergrad at CSUN. Um, I worked with the general population like y'all. Um, I also worked with people with special needs like um, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's disease. And I also worked with, uh, I got to work with athletes in one semester, but I uh, didn't like it too much. I uh, hated it, kind of mean, those athletes. They don't really pay attention to uh, what, what you tell them to. Um, but that was my experience when I, when I was doing my undergrad. Uh, I was born in the city of Santa Monica. <coughs> Excuse me. I was raised in the city of Bolin Park here in the San Gabriel Valley, which is about 20 minutes here from Alhambra. And uh, yeah, that's just um, some cool information about me. Um, so now getting more specific on the topics of exercising. So I noticed there is a big trend now going in the fitness industry of HIT, which is high intensity interval training. However, what, why do we do that? Why, what, are, what are the specific reasons why we do these type of training? Um, like I said, what are the specific adaptations that you see from this type of training? So one of my favorite reasons why we do this training is you actually, bore, you actually burn more kcals doing this type of training compared to your, you know, your traditional running where you run for about 30 minutes at a constant, at a constant speed, at a constant rate. However, you know, I have nothing against runners. I understand that um, those who love running get that runner's high and they're just in the zone, you know, while they're in the middle of the run. However, for those who, you know, want to lose weight uh, more effectively and want to be, and they want to build that lean muscle more, then your, your type of training would be more of that high intensity interval training where um, you're burning more K calorie, you're more K cals, and you're also building more lean muscle. Um, so that's that typical, you know, high intensity 30 second, you know, work and then that 10 second rest followed by another session of, you know, three exercises. That's what high intensity interval training is. Um, another reason, probably one of my favorite reasons um, why we do high intensity interval training um, is uh, this term, uh, this, it's this term, it's called acidosis, where it's this uh, accumulation of lactic acid which causes fatigue. So it's, this, it's, the, it's a buildup of lactic acid in the blood, and that's what makes us tired. It's what makes, it's what makes us stop working out, exercising, because we're just way too fatigued and way too tired to, to work out. However, it's, there's been research done um, on high-intensity interval training where it shows that there's, an in, in, there's a significant amount of increase in that lactate threshold. So if there's an increase in your lactate threshold, then the, the slower that fatigue rate is going to come. So what this means is we're actually going to last a lot longer during our workout. Um, another reason why I love this is we're actually getting those aerobic slash anaerobic adaptations with high intensity interval training. So it's actually going to help us out with, you know, during doing more of this high intensity workout. And it's also, it's also going to help us out with more of that slow, lower, you know, intensity workout, like if you're running and things like that. So that's something it's done. It's actually been proven that it improves people's mile. Um, it improves your time on your mile if you're a long distance runner doing this type of training. Okay, that's all I wanted to share with y'all. I hope you'll have an amazing day. Um, remember, I teach uh, full, my full body rock classes every Friday at six in the morning. Um, I hope to see y'all there. Peace out.